Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Digby. This is Fighting Spirit Mania once again. Upper right-hand corner, we got Bonus starting as the orange. Do we want to stick with this? Sure. Orange Protoss, upper right-hand corner. Bottom left-hand corner, we got DeWalt starting as the blue Protoss. This is game five of the first set. So whoever, so if Bonneth wins this set, he will have one victory out of seven sets. And then he'll need to win four more sets. And then he'll be, or sorry, if he wins this set, he'll need to win three more sets of best of sevens, at which point he will be the champion. If DeWalt, again, is able to come back and win another, or if, if, uh, you guys get what I'm saying. If he can reverse his fortunes in this set, at which point he needs to win uh, three in a row, four in a row. Yes, because first to five. Then he'll be able to take this set and he's got to win a bunch. He's got to win the first. He's got to win a majority of the initial best of sevens. And then uh, once he's there, win a second set of best of sevens. At which point he would be crowned champion. <clears throat> Oof. One of those days. Yep. Out in Twitch land. Uh, by the way, I believe what I'm going to do is until... I'm debating if I'm going to do all of these or not for my own entertainment. <clears throat> and also to contribute my own aspect of fighting spirit. But at the same time, I'm like, why do I want to torture myself that way? Does my masochism really run that deep to the stage of perpetual... Potential perpetual boredom, we'll see. Um, cool statue in the middle of fighting spirit right there. Maybe that's the... I don't know what that is, but that doesn't seem like... What, that's not even like star... What is that exactly? That's not exactly part... It looks like some sort of warped High Templar or something like that. Anyway, that's the sort of commentary you're going to get as part of Fighting Spirit Mania. Anywho, where was I? Point being, I might just cast a lot of these on Twitch uh, until Hasu League starts, which is actually not that far away. Other cool little tidbits. Nice little snake statue in the water. Reminiscent of something. DeWalt getting bottom right hand, or sorry, Bonneth getting cross map scout. Unfortunately, by the way, he's opened up for with an 11 12 gate. He is building an initial zealot, but it looks like he's plopped down the assimilator. And I want to point out um, that he is not, he didn't queue up. First of all, he, he built that assimilator pretty rapidly, but also he hasn't queued up a second or third zealot, which I kind of like at cross positions. And if he can hold, actually, he's going to be able to deny this. In the meantime, DeWalt's going to have a little bit of an edge because at cross positions, he's going to go for... Uh, actually, it looks like he canceled Rage. He's going to go for that Dragoon first. But in the meantime, Bonneth, I love this. So typically, a lot of Protoss players, what they'll do is, is they'll... Okay, it's failed. 10-12 gate. We're going to build a bunch of Zealots anyway, and we're going to go charging forward, and we'll lose a bunch of resources potentially, or it'll be a little bit more challenging to get anything accomplished. Bonneth recognizes its cross position, so he's paused those initial zealots. It looks like he is going to build a follow-up zealot right here, just to fill in some supply, but it looks like he's bailing out and tra transitioning to some form of, of two-gate opener. It looks like range is now continuing here for DeWalt. <clears throat> so certainly range will be a little bit earlier for DeWalt, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference because it's cross position, and... Especially without seeing actual expansion, it looks like a DeWalt not going to press this issue. And with two Dragoons on the way, pausing range for that, it's at cross positions, usually you're not getting ultra aggressive anyway. And it looks like it's going to be one gate into Robo here for DeWalt. So Bonneth, despite going for the early gateway opener, I like the turnaround. And let's see if he turns it into, it looks like he's skipping range for the long haul. So he might just go straight two gate into Robo and maybe go... Well, let's see if he goes into Robo. So he is going to go two gate Robo. Uh, pausing a little bit on production, which he can get away with. Because again, cross position, he's also up a gateway. Pylon getting dropped to the nine o'clock location a little bit earlier for DeWalt to kind of keep an eye on general troop positionings. The Dragoon moved up, saw the two Dragoons and pulled back from there. And so Bonneth safe out here in the start. And is he just going to go straight Robo? I'm wondering if he's going to go straight natural expansion before even an observer here, which that's great. And this is before range. All of this is before range. So Bonneth cutting nearly every corner here because it's cross position. So dropping that Nexus well ahead of DeWalt, despite going with the two gate opener. And it looks like it is gonna be one gate observatory first. This is crazy too, because this is about as economically aggressive as players tend to get in this sort of play. 
And instead, it looks like, yeah, so DeWalt dropped his Nexus, and because of the skip of range, which is starting up just now, and because he's counting on the fact that DeWalt at cross position wasn't going to get aggressive, able to end up actually ahead on that Nexus, and I don't think he's going to pay for it one lick. So amazing play here. Robotic Support Bay and Observatory plopping down. The Observer's going to come out somewhat later here. So the Observer moving out for DeWalt, but that actually might be slightly advantageous for Bonneth. Because when this Observer pops, they're going to be Dragoons in position and that Observer potentially at the forward slot. Uh, and that's also going to be a second Observer, so it's second Observer before Reaver. I'm wondering if Bonneth is going to try to cut that corner as well. Because if he sees the Observer interior to base, he knows that it was Observer tech rather than Dark Templar tech. I'm wondering how many Protoss players actually utilize that. And it looks like he is going to go straight into Reaver, skipping the second Observer. Second Observer out for DeWalt. So DeWalt with a little bit for the moment, a bit of an eye advantage. Now that Bonneth, yeah, he's gonna see this Observer coming into the base and he's also gonna have an opportunity to swat it. Natural, Bonnet, uh, DeWalt's gonna see that that natural expansion's up much, much earlier and that has to be frustrating for him. But on top of that, seeing that Observer, he knows that it's very unlikely that it's going to be Dark Templar tech to follow things up. Or if it were, he still has this Observer to position around. It's rare to go Observer first into DTs from there. So it looks like DeWalt's still going to scoot around, get a look, see the two gateways and robotics facility, and might be puzzling his head. But their range is just finishing. <clears throat> so skipping range all the way across the board. I wonder how many players pull uh, go for that sort of play. Quick second gas now for DeWalt. Presumably, we'll see to go for some sort of tech play from here. The Observer now going for the hunt. Observer versus Observer, and that's going to get picked off. It is going to see that third gateway dedicated. But now, all of a sudden, Bonneth in a great position. He's up three workers, dropping his gas just now, up a good amount of supply after all of that. And all of that really because he skipped early game range. So, brilliant play. Third gateway just dropping for DeWalt and off what was potentially a disastrous two gate. So rather than going like, okay, this is going to be a disastrous two gate, might as well play it out. He adjusted. I love that. <clears throat> All Protoss players learn from this. Uh, Forge getting dropped alongside a Citadel of Dune to go to the next tier tech. Couple Dragoons in the back corner just in case there was a drop. And now that we have a second Reaver on the way, it looks like another Observer filling in. There are two Reavers on the ground, no shuttle as of yet. Looks like it's just about to pop out there for DeWalt. And DeWalt now floating a lot of gas, so it looks like he wants to follow this up. I don't see, it's interesting, I see Citadel of a Dune, but okay, there, another, a fourth gateway, but no Templar tech as of yet. I was expecting to see uh, an immediate surge to High Templar because of the faster gas and the gas pooling that DeWalt's been doing. In the meantime, Observer caught here along the southern corner. We also have some defensive pylons out there for Bonneth to see any sort of troop movement. Bonneth way ahead in the overall supply count. 10 supply, which is significant. Observer marching its way out. Zealots marching the way out as well. We have now the Citadel of Adun getting dropped. <clears throat> now we have the Protoss archives, but it feels like a lot of that gas was floated for quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of time there. <clears throat> Worker count slightly ahead for Bonneth, but it is uh, two base versus two base, and this is nearly... I don't think it's going to be that critical here. But Bonneth surging ahead, primarily because he knows I got one Observer pinned right here. A Worker actually moving out. That's going to get... Is it going to get picked off? Sees the edge of that army. And the two Reavers moving forward to start exchanging pot shots. This is something Bonneth loves doing. Second Observer taking a free shot before it's going to move its way back. And is it going to get a free shot? Okay. Bit of an exchange right there. Back and forth. It looks like Bonneth is also going for that Zelt leg speed as far as the follow-up. <clears throat> Twitch chat, I believe, was a is asking when this is finished. This is finished within the last month. <clears throat> Took a very, very long period of time, though. Shuttle moving out of position. That's allowing DeWalt to scoot forward and get a pot shot. That's leaving a damaged Reaver. Yeah, I believe these were... So as of casting this, I'm casting this on April 6th. I think it finished March, just for people's general information. Reaver's trying to scoot along that corner. Bonneth looking for what he can get in the meantime. Ooh, 
One Dragoon getting picked off. We do have a little bit of a pro battle right here. It looks like Bonneth staging back. He's floating a good amount of minerals, so I think he is going to go ahead and try to grab that 3 o'clock location. Supply about even. He's going to go for Zelt Leg Speed. Some High Templar starting to filter out now, but uh, Storm Tech only about halfway finished. And unfortunately for DeWalt, he had that probe. He's going to check out that 12 o'clock location. It was a little bit late to check out the 3 o'clock location, or a little bit early, I should say, to check out the 3 o'clock location to confirm uh, the third Nexus. So in the meantime, we've got a few High Templar down, so a bit of a tech advantage for DeWalt. He's going to end up with plus one weapons a few minutes earlier. He's out leg speed somewhat later. Probe's really hunting each other down here. In the space of this, DeWalt going to go ahead and plant his base finally at the 9 o'clock location. That's about, so the timing about half, uh, and you can see the kind of the continuation timing, about halfway behind Bonneth's Nexus. So still ending up, but really these High Templar are going to allow him to feel a lot more comfortable as far as defensive play. Especially because Reaver and Shuttle do not play well against Psystorm because you can't really micro your way out of lightning bolts. Let that be a lesson to airplane pilots as well. In the meantime, good healthy gateway count on both sides of the field. It looks like there is one gateway more on DeWalt's side. So that might, and it looks like he does have a surge in supply as a result, which one would expect from the Nexus filing in. The Observer getting pushed back away from that 3 o'clock location still... So still not able to confirm that third, but I, I have to presume there's suspicions, especially considering the general defensive posture. Observers moving out across the field. Wondering if the... Is Bonneth going to re-trigger and try to go for this again? So the Observer filing forward. Is it going to follow? Looks like not. Okay, now it is. And is he going to go for it again? Yeah, definitely absolute information war right here. In the meantime, some probes cycling up to the 9 o'clock location. And DeWalt moving out on the field, maybe wanting to intercept that army. Unfortunately, some of the High Templar, are these the High Templar with the most energy? It looks like they have some Psy Storm prepared, trailing a little bit. This poor Observer really bullied in that bottom right-hand corner. <clears throat> so third base up on both ends. DeWalt has a bit of a supply lead. He has a bit of a positional advantage as far as he's got that army a little bit more cohesive out in the field. But shuttle speed is there for Bonneth. And it's going to be challenging for DeWalt. He's got to land all of these size storms to really capitalize on that gas advantage. So if he can get the gas... So, ooh, and some Zelts eating some damage right in the front. So there's initial size storms eating a good amount of the shuttle, but a High Templar losing its life for the effort. Another High Templar moving out. One storm dropped. Second storm dropped. Still not able to wipe out that Reaver. And we also have two Archons grouping here. It looks like we have the Calderon amulet upgrade for DeWalt momentarily as well. Still a lot of High Templar out, but again, it's going to be a challenge to get that Psy Storm drop. So more Psy Storm, and unfortunately these High Templar are grouped up. One hit right there. It looks like the Reavers are out of that fight. Reinforcements moving up, getting engaged from the south. But unfortunately, I only saw, what, two Psy Storms, and that was five High Templar. So Dwalt, yeah, absolutely getting smashed in this fight because a lot of that tech not paying out for him, and that's a lot of Dragoons that were just walking forward now for Bonneth. And it looks like an Archon also able to isolate that Reaver to the south as well. So now Swarming, he is at close reinforcement. But Bonneth with that last engagement taking the overall supply lead. And look at this in the meantime. He's gone up to Stargate and is feeling comfortable enough to grab an Arbiter and a 12 o'clock location after that last fight. <clears throat> Shuttle picked out of the air. Dewalt going to go ahead and scramble back. So unfortunately, yeah, for Dewalt, he had a lot of High Templar there. But just wasn't able to coat a lot of Psy Storm to make that battle work for him. So nice pressure play there from Bonneth overall. In the meantime, two worker lead, that's not really anything. What will be huge is getting that 12 o'clock base up. But this is also cute. That Arbiter, uh, Arbiter Tribunal out in the field that are really tech. So we got one observer here to the south. We got one observer midfield here. These can get picked off and Bonneth has done a pretty good job of hunting them this far. Let's see if he continues with the observer hunt. And that's really going to... And he also might have noted that, okay, with the High Templar gone and not a lot of Dragoons on the ground, it's going to be challenging to deal with the Arbiter once he's out on the field. Meantime, DeWalt engaging. It looks like he has a bit of a smaller attack but a beautiful Psy Storm on the grouping of Zealots, really melting them initially. The High Templar now pulling back. I think DeWalt could actually turn and fight this if he can get one Reaver shot 
on the grouping of the Zealots. That will basically peel them out. They're dying, ver dying very rapidly. But more Zealots coming to reinforce. And now all of a sudden, DeWalt outnumbered. The Reaver to the south, still able to micro around for Bonneth. The Reaver to the north, just getting to the fight for a single shot before it's having to retreat. And again, Bonneth getting a great open field fight. And this is before the Arbiter is even out in the field. Bonneth engaging towards the ramp, perhaps feeling he's got a Reaver advantage, which he does in fact have. Also scooting up to the 9 o'clock location, might want to try to punch that open. Needs to be a little bit careful with that shuttle, took a couple free hits, so that's gone, and now might be able to march into the 9 o'clock and get some damage. Probes peeling off, trying to buy some time for reinforcements to make their way up. To take advantage of that high ground, looks like the Probes' heroes, the cannon survives, but this is as that 12 o'clock base is starting to saturate. And a 20 supply lead. And is the Arbiter out? Arbiter's just about out. And we got Stasis upgrading. And Observers that look like they're going to get picked off midfield. Are they going to cycle back? Yeah. Going to go ahead and pick that Observer off. So we got one Observer here near the 9 o'clock. We got this Observer across the bridge line. DeWalt has taken a 6 o'clock base. But this is uh, significantly later. And he doesn't have that... He's critically not going to have stasis, is what it comes down to, which is crazy in PvP. One really good stasis, especially on the High Templar, could really, really wreck Dewalt's day, and that'll be the critical bit. Is do the Dragoons, will they, and that's the thing, I don't think they will auto-target the Arbiter, if they, especially if they have vision. I think they'll go after the nearby hostile units first, but... Reaver and Shuttle or High Temple are very, very good targets, or really any sort of bunch of troops that's trying to retreat. Observer and a couple Zealots making the way north, trying to check top left. DeWalt starting to position out towards the 3 o'clock. We had a, looks like a pylon dropping bottom right, but a bit of an attack right there. Now Bonnet's starting to move out in the field. He does have Stasis upgraded and that Arbiter, and just in moments he's going to have enough energy. Catching that Archon actually could be a big effect too. Plus two weapons across the board, so it's going to be even troop count, but it looks like, or even weapons count. But Bonneth does have the larger armor, plus he's going to have the Doodad location. So one Size Storm caught a little bit of that army. Second Size Storm, but here comes that Arbiter. And a big stasis on the shuttle, which catches two Reavers, the Archon, and some Dragoons otherwise, which is also pinning a good portion of that attack force. And now, was there an Observer nearby? It looks like there is an Observer to the south. But there were portions of that fight where it looked like DeWalt was fighting blind. And DeWalt actually having to micro the Observer back to make sure it doesn't get picked off. And Bon, at the meantime, steamrolling forward, splash damage over the bridge, takes the game, wins the set, wins the first set of seven. He only needs to get three more to win the series and be crowned Grand Champion. Meantime, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.